All right, I'm gonna show you how to use Pixie to make YouTube thumbnails. First, we open the app, and you can see these are different pictures you can make. But we're gonna make our own. So we're gonna click on Edit. All right, just select those. Then we're gonna go through our photos and find the one we wanna use. Once you find the one you want to use for your thumbnail, you can open it. We can add words, titles, you can change the size, you can adjust the position, you can change the font. Once we've decided on our font, we can change the color, we can change the shadow. We can even change the rotation. There's different effects we can use. We can turn up the shadow, turn down the shadow. Right curve to the text straight text, you can adjust alignment, you can spread the letters out, make it bold, and they also have 3D effects where you can rotate the lettering any way you want, so you wanted to, to see birds, right on the bird's belly or something, you figure out what the angle is you want it to sit at. Change its shape, change its size, and slap it on the bird's belly like a tattoo. Once it's on there, you can change the font, change the color, change the shadow. There's a lot you can do with that 3D ad mirror. You can make any kind of thumbnail you want for your YouTubes. Then they have basic stickers and you can add stickers to your pictures or there's other effects. Mostly like the photo editor on Facebook. It has filters and these filters are pretty good. They make a pretty good thumbnail for YouTube. Once you get your, you can make it look old. Make it look like you're looking through a window or something. They have a lot of different filters. They work pretty good. They have blur filters, and color filters. Once you get all that figured out, you can save it. Then you can share it to Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. have all these places you can save to. Don't know why you would save it to your Roku, but anyway. You can send an email, save it to your Google Drive, print it. You can even create a watch face if you have a Apple Watch. You can make Apple faces for your watch. Pretty neat. You can do a kaleidoscope and regular one but you could make thumbnails for your watch if you wanted to now this phone's not paired to the watch so anyway there you go